So what's up guys, Jesus here and as you can see my background, I'm back in Shanghai in my normal room so no longer in the quarantine, uh, quarantine hotel. I haven't done that much for like any content lately, didn't stream, didn't make any YouTube videos, didn't rush last weekend as well. Sorry for that guys, like been, been, been slacking on the content a little bit. I had some things I had to fix here so yeah, life also goes on kind of, right? So, hope you're all doing it good in the quarantine life. So, all of you, including me, have been waiting for this six years special event. So, this is number one. They also posted number two. Probably there's more. Also, if you hear my fan in the background, um, this is one of the reasons why I didn't make that much videos right now. You can skip like I had if you don't care about like me, you just want to know like about the event, but whatever. So, um, the reason I haven't made that much content is because my fan is making like kind of like ticking noise like either I have to boost it up that it's speeding up like fast enough that it's not ticking or you had like as in the past videos whatever you had like this weird as like ticking noise on the background which you probably didn't notice and now you're gonna notice it ha ah, fuck but I bought a standalone mic it's probably like arriving tomorrow or the day after so Hope that will fix it and probably that also improves like the sound quality of the stream and YouTube in general. So we'll see how that works out. It's my first standalone mic, huh? Bec becoming a real streamer or something or whatever. So yeah, I should be streaming more when I get that. So then again, into the event. So six year event. Number one, as I said, well, it's a hundred. I already kind of heard of that because like at the Chinese uh, some kind of like Chinese reddit they uh, had like a poll which you could win things on and they said like okay what's the what's it gonna be a hundred summons 66 uh, summon or like a hundred mystical scrolls 66 mystical scrolls everyone get their uh, um, net 5 that everyone wants or random people get like LD net 5 so something like that so the last two options were pretty much like joke options the first two kind of made sense because of the hundred things showing up more, the one with the hundred songs kind of made most sense. So the event is actually running like a month and a half, which is it's a decent amount. So if you're not going to be able to play for a while, this is a decent amount. Well, the video, you've probably already seen it. I could just kind of go through the video for a bit. You can check it with sound later wait let me check if it's actually showing correct yeah it's showing correct so we thought this was gonna be like r6 but i guess this is just r5 she's just getting stomped in r5 right i don't think this is actually like r6 and then you summon shit this actually looks cool like that island looks cool like this animation and shit looks cool but you're summoning unless we're gonna fight like with a hundred monsters we're gonna fight like r5 does it look like r5 though Wait, does it actually look like R5? Because if you check like the... No. Like, go away. Like, these things on the back, like, R5 doesn't have such a big as scales on this back, right? Oh, I have to check later. It's gonna be not cut for you, so... Ha! Homework. Check if this is actually looks like R5. It may be, be just like an upgrade at like HD graphics version of r5 or it might actually be like a different unit r6 but this kind of looks like hey we can summon like a hundred freaking units into his summon rate is good though like dude if you get these units from a hundred summons you're gonna be happy <laughs> pisama uh this is probably like Terranese or balanus can't really see because i, I guess it's balanus a bunch of like net fives that are good yeah you'll be you'll be happy if you get this from a hundred summons So yeah, that's that's interesting. So we get we're gonna get a hundred summons giveaway between like these two dates. So what does it mean? You watch the video. Well, we just did, but you have to do it on your own. Well, otherwise, you don't get your stuff. Get crystals, use crystals. Easy enough. We do that all the time. All scenarios. Blah 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 blah. You get a bunch of those. So you're gonna get a whole ton of those apparently. So. Get all mystical scrolls from entering the shop. Yeah, that's where I don't get, like, you can buy a whole bunch of stuff. So, you can get them unlimited. That's good. The drop rate of 6-star coins will increase the content stages require energy. 
Oh wait, does that mean that you get like the drop rate of the six R coins will increase? Well, it was currently zero, so that's always an increase because we never have those. I don't know. Sounds weird, but um, new summons will benefit a double. Cool. Sitting summons will for checking in for five days, ten coins. Okay, so you get like a bunch of check-ins as well. Will not drop from blah 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 blah. Yeah, we don't care. Get all hundred mystical scrolls from entering the six star shop. Okay, so you can buy like besides the scrolls, you can buy like a bunch of more items than just the scrolls. It doesn't actually state like unless I missed it, it doesn't state like how much a scroll costs. Is it just one? Is it like more than one? Is it like ten? Is it like I don't know. But yeah, we are also gonna be able to get two devil mons, that's nice. Five reaps, that's super nice. Forbidden Scroll Evolution well, helps out earlier players. Same for Awakening and this one. So the Forbidden Evolution is making something six star, right? Then Awaken Force just Awaken a Super Angel Mon is like max level stuff. You can get 50 Asian coins. That's actually a lot of Asian coins. And you can buy them three times. That's actually a shit ton of Asian coins. That's. That's quite interesting because you don't get that much Asian coins normally. A few rainbow mons, more rainbow mons, level ups. Well, you can buy quite some of the fire angel mons as well. That's actually a lot. You can buy unknown scrolls. Why would you buy unknown scrolls? And you can buy a limited mana stones. So I'm pretty much already hitting the 400 million mana, but I guess this helps out other people. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So wait, the six star shop actually opens after you purchase all hundred scrolls. So you first have to buy all hundred scrolls before this shop opens, apparently. Okay, that's but it doesn't really stay unless I missed it, like how much is one scroll? Is one scroll one coin? Okay, uh probably people are gonna get like write something in the comment or message me like when I miss something like the same thing as the fairies last time probably missed something but yeah that's it's gonna be like a hundred like you first get the mystical scrolls and then you're gonna start working on these I guess makes sense I guess I guess well if you want to check towards like value wise double ones of course re-ups are good and I would say these maybe this is like pretty much another re-up this is actually like your third re-up if you actually buy them from that. Some people say like save them all. Yeah, save them all for nothing. Because they're never gonna be useful. And I think my fan is blowing up. Holy shit, that's loud. Okay, let me try to reduce them. Let me try to reduce them. So let's see if that goes a little bit softer. Sorry for that if my fan is actually blowing up crazy. But yeah, I don't get, really get that how much one scroll is, but we'll see in two days. It starts in two days. So let's check out the other one. Oh, let's scroll to the bottom. Blah, 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 blah. Legendary Blacksmith event. Uh, get good shit. Okay, we first click on that and we have Jubei Gold. So you can craft two legendary runes. And this is the main reason I'm making this video. And I'm already like freaking eight minutes, nine minutes, ten minutes into this video. But this was actually the reason people were asking me, okay, which runes to craft? So, oh, people are spamming me. So, which runes to craft? And normally I would actually aim for, like I would personally say, aim for a slot two speed. Because if you make a slot four or a slot six, it's most likely gonna be a re rune without an innate and that's actually it's decent but it's not that great like let's say you make a slot six you have like speed let's say you go full full support speed defense Aki resistance and it rolls just a bunch in resistance and it becomes a re rune. room whereas if you have a slot two and it goes like anything high rolls like let's say you have a slot to speed and it goes like hp uh, attack defense and let's say crit rate and even if it goes like full into defense it's still a decent rune if it's high efficient whereas if your slot six goes full into defense you are like oh okay probably still rehab material so that's why a slot two from these craft events are not that bad but this crafting event is different so 
Okay, so we'll get into that in a sec. You can craft two runes. However, they cannot be the same rune number or type. So you cannot... I'm not sure, but I guess this implies you cannot make a, let's say, slot for will. Then you cannot make another slot for vio. So you have to make a slot 6 vio or something. So I guess that's how it works. So I'm not sure. Maybe you can go like 4 and 4 if it's different types. But maybe you cannot go 4 and 4. So it has to be both different. Could be either one. Actually that would change. Like if I cannot make. I was planning to go both 4s for both will and vio. But the would. Hmm. Interesting. Good to read stuff. Good to read stuff a second time. Good to read stuff a second time because that actually might change your judgment of what do you need. After confirming the six star rune, you can check the plus six power up stats in advance and change the powered up stats. Boom! That's free. That's the reason why you should not make a slot two in this case because well, okay, maybe if you really need like a crit rate slot two or something. But hear me out like you can make 18 speed straight off the bat like you can legit go like okay i want 18 speed you just reroll until you got 18 speed on the plus six and from there you just keep going so you can have a slot four or a slot six with 18 speed of your likings of like the main stat so main thing people have been asking me is like okay so what do you what are you gonna get what should i get so it's gonna be still Vio, Swift, or Will, but Swift is actually included because Swift, normally I wouldn't say craft a Swift rune, but since you can craft a Swift rune that's 100% guaranteed 18 speed while well, you gotta like keep like re-rolling and blah, 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 but you're gonna make it 18 speed at some point. That's why Swift is actually really good. Like, let's say um, um, Savannah, like Savannah is one of those units that just needs a crit damage slot for high speed, high crit rate, high attack, blah, blah, blah. Super difficult to rune. But hey, this with this thing, you can go for a crit rate uh, um, substat, attack substat, 18 speed slot for crit damage on a swift rune. Man, that's crazy. Like, go for these runes. Like, if your account is lacking those kind of runes, go for it. Like, anything your account is lacking, Go for it. So that's the best thing. Like no one can say like what is best to make because something is best to make on your account. So check, hey, I'm missing slot four wheels or hey, I'm missing slot six fios. And then also check because I highly recommend to make a slot four and a slot six. And it's probably going to be slot six HP of something or an attack if you prefer that. Like attack or HP on slot six of either fio, swift or will. And then slot 4, I would recommend go like crit damage or HP. Maybe, nah, crit rate I would not recommend. I think I would recommend to go like crit damage or HP, slot 4 of either one of those three sets. Or if you don't really need any of those, you could go for a slot 2 speed of probably um, Vio or Will. And then if you need like really specific stats, like for example, uh, let's say you need a unit that has 24 Aki on the slots too, that you really specifically need to hit like a certain threshold of Aki, or you need like an 18 Aki uh, slot two uh, crit rate, or an 18 Aki, 18 crit rate slot two, so you hit like the certain threshold of like enough crit rate or something. So if you need those specific runes, like check what your account needs, because this gives you a lot of options to fill in like key spots that you were missing. So take some time, don't right away. It's like, okay, slot six HP percent with speed, good. It's like, maybe that's not your best bet, like what you need. So actually check what you need, what units you have and make something you know you're going to use right away don't make something of like ah in the future i might get x or y because you're not going to get it it's someone as well you're not going to get what you want but with this thing you can actually choose what you're going to get so keep that in mind that it's actually crazy so then we have the grindstone box jam hero or higher you can change the grade and the property by refreshing so you can change the grade so you can the grade you can like change the grade until it's legendary i guess so you can just keep re-rolling until it's legendary so it's pretty much get a 
legendary grindstone and gem of the property that you want after like a million times of refresh that's sick that's crazy probably people go for like speed gems maybe if they need like an hp defense or attack like legendary gem but in general i probably recommend to go for the speed in both cases they're super rare they're highly needed and you can aim for like fire will swift whatever you need so how do you get this stuff you get it same way oh they're actually linked they're actually linked okay so this is how you get them you use five coins you select the rune type then three more for the main property it's the same as what we have before it's just like you use coins to re-roll and re-roll and re-roll this is actually using the same coins as the coins of the other shop i guess so you would have to buy the mystical scrolls first before like making the rune i guess what would i do i, I would say like go for the mystical scrolls um get the devilmon get the re-apps get like uh, all important stuff don't go for like the the power-ups of your units and blah blah and then start like don't get those don't get the known scrolls don't get like like what, what stuff would you like if it's the same i would say like okay get the hundred scrolls then get the devilmon get the re-apps um the rest is all not needed rest i would not recommend to like okay if you're lazy like you can get these well th this is good value this is only like three coins this is good value and then all of the others i would save them and just like throw them on your runes like throw them in this room just keep going add more stuff in the room add more stuff in the room so yeah that's it like man th th this looks amazing this is a heavy good event and this is number two out of i don't know how many maybe six maybe four last year where there were four i guess or five don't remember so yeah that's it and i hope this helped you out to make like a few choices of what runes to get so pure a pure thing to focus on check what your account needs and keep in mind that you probably cannot make two violence and you probably also cannot make two slot fours two slot two slot sixes and stuff like that so you probably have to make a slot six and a slot four so check what works best so see you here enjoy the event and peace out